Bienvenidos a mi canal English Passion. Les saluda su profesor Alberto Pérez. Hoy les traigo un nuevo contenido acerca del inglés, específicamente sobre el ensayo. ¿Cómo hacer un ensayo? ¿Qué es un ensayo? ¿Cuántos tipos de ensayos existen? ¿Y cuáles son esos tipos de ensayos? Estaré hablando de esto, de esto en inglés en este video. Veamos. What does an essay do? An essay is a written composition that addresses one topic. Number one. Number two is analyzes one or more aspects of the topic. Number three gives reasons or supportive evidence about about it. Okay, draws a conclusion, of course, as a closing. <laughs> There are four types of essays. One of them is expository, persuasive, comparative, and narrative. The type of one the type one of four, the expository essay. The expository essay, this kind of essay, explains or gives the reader knowledge about the topic. It explains with facts, not opinions. Instead, you can display all your knowledge, just nothing unproven or an accepted as factual. This means you need to thorough research, so all your facts are right. What an expository essay can do? Describe, number one, describe how to do something. Number two, describe or explain an event. Number three, analyze a piece of writing. Number four, discuss ideas. Remember, your facts should be accurate. Type two or four, the persuasive essay. Here's what you get to take aside. You argue the case for your point of view. Arguing doesn't mean yelling. You're still using facts, but you can express a personal viewpoint or opinion using facts to support your position and reason to prove your point. How a persuasive essay works. Use logic and evidence. Number one, present the relevant evidence. Number two, show how the evidence supports your point of view. Number three, describe a positive opposing viewpoints. Number four, show how the evidence still support your viewpoint and that's so better than the posing points of view. Type number three or four, the comparative essay. In this type of essay, you compare two themes showing similarities. Number two, contrast two themes showing differences. Number three, combine both comparisons and contrasts and draw a conclusion. You can compare or contrast many things, for example, animals or people, explanations or ideas, stories or other writings. Results of the experiments of two experiments, for example, because you are comparing. Okay, can you think of other themes? How are they similar? Different? Type 4 of 4, the narrative essay. This essay is different from the others. This time, you tell a story. Number 1, from one point of view, usually yours, based on experience, on an experience, is based on an experience. Number 3, containing or illustrating one central idea or lesson. A structure of a narrative essay. This type of essay has the same elements as the story. Number one, plot and characters. Number two, rising actions to a climax. Number three, falling action to a resolution. Other elements of the narrative essay, you may include these elements. Number one, write from a first person point of view. There, there may be sections, but this is most common. Number two, use a strong descriptive details that all contribute to your central theme. Number three, you may use dialogue, so you should know the rules for writing it correctly. This is the end, my friends. This is how to make an essay, or how you can know about essay, how many, how many types of essay exist. So in this video, you have that information. Now you know how to make it. 
but share this video in order to help other people. Like this video if you like it and share it with your friends or only family members. Bye bye and see you in the next video. Take care.